Hello and welcome, this is Medvedev from the Robolabs and today we will discuss how to fix the issue when the robot just lost, unfortunately, without no reason, drops or rise the voltage. See how it looks on a real customer. If your Cotton Candy machine, no matter if it's RoboJet Loss XL, RoboJet Loss Pro, RoboJet Loss Standard or Twister Focus Monster drops or rise the voltage without no reason, most likely this is the Solid State Relay name for Tech 25 ssr -VA. To change this relay we will need to remove four screws at the bottom and remove the bottom cover. And now remove three other screws. This is this Fotec SSR 25VA. So what is important in our case is that this is Fotec have four wires, and this is really important. To not mess with the numbers. So the number one and two, this is the high voltage wires and it, it will go to the 110. The number four and number three, this is the low voltage wires and they will go this brand to wires. This is the variable resistor. So this is exactly the element which allow you to adjust the voltage. So again, brown wires to the variable resistor will go to the number 4 and number 3. And number 1 and number 2, it will go to the regular 110 wires, which is silver, sometimes blue, and white. And what we need to do? We will need to replace these wires don't forget to mark them for example as for me i usually try to get any tape and just manually mark it one two three four and this will go to the wire so i will know which exit good for the which wire so now one goes to number one two goes to number two this three goes to number three and four goes to number four and now this is time for the phillips screwdriver we need to release the wires. You don't need to remove the whole bolt, just release it and that's it. The same here. Now we will need flat screwdriver again to remove two bolts. And these two bolts should be removed completely. Inside you will probably find some lubricant. This we will need because the, this element warm up pretty much. So to make the better temperature exchange, the factory put some lubricant on the bottom. So here is it. We will need these two screws, then put it in the new Fotex solid state relay, attach it back and then attach the wires and you're good to go. This is the thermo paste, kind of the lubricant, which help to improve the heat exchange and allow to the Fotec relay to stay longer. You can use this therm paste or you can just avoid it. Even without this therm paste, this new solid state relay will work pretty good. So, number one, number two goes on right, number three, number four goes on left. Let's install it back. Now we will need to attach wire number 3 to the exit number 3.
wire number four with the exit number four When you change the solid state relay, this one, you can recycle it or just drop to the trash. And now it's time to close the bottom cover. You done? I hope it was helpful video. If you will need a service or part, don't be hesitate. Contact us, robolabsusa.com. Wish you good day.